Okay, so today we're gonna check out this collectible Bobacon toys and collectible store. Let's see if we can find any good deals. Collectibles toy store. Got some back issues right here. I'm gonna look through those boxes. Let's check out their variable comics. I wish I had that one. Got this one at home. Definitely need these two. Got this one. Got this one. Need that one. Got these two. Walking dead. Let's see what I'm picking up today. Alright, got some McFarlane art, Marvel Tales, beautiful cover, new stand too. I think Slingers, first appearance of Slingers with upcoming movie, Dusk. Gargoyles, hard to find, right? New stand. Beautiful Greg Horn, She Hulk. I think this cameo of uh, Cletus Cassidy. Also, new stand. Where it is. Keep on honey. Look at all these figurines right here. Let's look for this box of comics. Somehow, some mystery. Oh, this is the first preview of uh, Sweet Tooth. I got these collectible figurines. Wow, these figurines are huge. Batman vs. Hey, see the Thanos one right here. Cable. Phoenix. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Are you guys ready for another exciting comic book haul? I hope you guys enjoyed the tour inside Bobocom Toys and Collectibles. They have a lot of exciting toys, fun code, collectibles, everything you can think of. I think also games too. So I don't go there often, but once I, you know, when I do, I try to go thorough, go through all their stuff. A lot of their stuff are priced pretty high, but I found a couple of pretty nice key issues. These are $3 each. So let's get it started with, oh, I want to mention about something. Ever since like the last year, coronavirus started, like, you know, bags and boards are like very hard to come by. Like people are just buying them up like crazy and it skyrocketed in value too. Like current size boards and the resealable current size bags are crazy price right now wow so I, once i got <laughs> that's off my chest right now let's go ahead and start out with house of mystery from virgo comics this is the first preview of sweet tooth i'm not sure if they're going it's going to be upcoming uh t movie or tv show but i heard it's a pretty good read now Gargoyles is a hot item, low print. Disney is bringing it back with their own animation series. So I used to own number one, but I sold it on eBay. So this is issue number four, and I believe this is also a new standard edition. So double, double value right there. All right. Heating up, guys. Heating up. Even though this is the Wizard number zero free giveaway is or 
as part of the uh, Wizard magazine. This is Slingers number zero, featuring the first team appearance of the Slingers, which consists of Dusk, Ricochet, Hornet, and Prodigy, which happens to be all the um, previous secret identities of Spider-Man. I guess when he didn't have his powers or something, he had to take up these four identities. And there's a rumor that there might be even a Dusk film. Hmm. Hope the rumors are true though, because I do have Dusk number one. So here's the Amazing Spider-Man number 359, new stand edition with the barcode. All right, it's not the first appearance of Cardiac, but it features the first cameo of Carnage in a one panel, I believe. All right. And lastly, from this haul, from Bobokan Hall, this is, first off, you notice, this is my foreign art, right? Second thing you're going to notice is the new stand, barcode. Now, the third thing you notice, why this is a pretty hot item, because a 9.8 CGC graded sold for $200 plus. So, looking at the condition right here, it's probably like no less than what you guys think, like a 9.2. Pretty sharp corners right there. I don't have, of the 15,000 plus comics I own, I haven't kind of kept track of it now. <laughs> it could be less since I sold it. I don't even own one CCC graded comic. I'm thinking about buying some top loaders though. Let's look for this iron man. First Armor Wars for $10. I'll pass on that. Here's a Thunderbolts number one. A new stand. I think I'll pass on that. I used to have one. Gotham Academy number one. I already have two at home and also a second print. All right, now we're going to skip to another comic book store that I purchased, uh, 25 for $10. All right, so we're starting out with these 1990s Topps Comics Jurassic Park. I thought, you know, yeah, I think these would be a good uh, collector's item to have. So we have Jurassic Park number one right there. And this is the Jurassic Park, the variant cover, I guess. One of these are the variant covers. And yes, these are bagged and boarded with the cards. I heard comic cards are heating up in value right now. Big shout out to uh, Two uh, for dropping comic book knowledge every day. Make sure you give him a follow. All right, so we have Jurassic Park number three right there. And there's a Jurassic Park Raptors attack. Uh, this must be the um, different series going on with Top Kids Comics. I'm not sure if they're defunct. I'm not even sure they're producing any more baseball cards. That's what they're known for. See, here's one of the cards that you see in the back. It's still bagged. This is original bagging. So uh, here is the Raptors number. It looks like uh, number one. It also features zero, a Zoro Zero comic in here. See, there's a Zoro Zero comic. Beautiful, right? Oh yeah, by the way, these are 40 cents each. Here's Jurassic Park Raptor number two. And this one I cleaned out a little bit, but kind of disappointing because black covers are hard to clean up. So this is Boys number 10. See, there's a little bit of residue that's left removed because of the coloring, depending on how high grade the paper is printed on or the stock. So it does matter how you clean it up. Now I found some of these um, Glow in the Dark comics. Big fan of them, and these are beautiful. This is a traditional Shadow Hawk one, number three. New Warriors, number 50, also glow in the dark. See, Nova is heating up. And you don't see this one too often, but yes, this is also glow in the dark. Uh, Children of the Voyager from Marvel Frontier. I'm pretty sure they're defunct now. And here's Cyber Force 3000 with um, Galactus. So it glows in the dark right there. You look carefully. This is a very classic one. Ghost Rider, Spirits of Vengeance, glow in the dark. 
All right, now we have The Spy Who Shagged Me, Austin Powers. This is the first time I ever coming across this one. So it's one of these Wizards Special Editions. Read the freaking book. Sequels, preview, pull out poster, absurd trivia, and more. I definitely miss the Austin Powers series. It's fun. Wow, look at this cover. Pretty racy, right? Racer X with the Confederate flag. I'm trying to collect these... Um, controversial cover controversial comics so that's one of those for sure and also this one you know the Ku Klux Klan gear and stuff yeah I heard Heroes Reborn might be a next hot thing on Marvel's universe uh, you know with Onslaught and stuff you know after Onslaught is Heroes Reborn so I've never seen this character so it could be the first appearance of Rebel I was lucky to find, uh, you know, related issues. And here's Masters of Evil. I don't know any of these characters. Well, that looks like uh, Black Knight. Wait, wait. Is that the Hulk? I am not sure who these characters are. Anybody knows, hit me up in the comments section. Appreciate it. So here's Doctor Doom one. Pretty nice cover right there. Chris Claremont uh, writing it, you know. One of the masters of storytelling with the X-Men, 90s X-Men. So here's another one, Ashima, Ashima. Don't know who that character is. First time hearing that name. Resident Evil. Yes, I'm collecting also video game based comics. No, I'm not. No, this is uh, Suicide Squad number one. You know. Don't know that much about these characters, but I'm kind of excited for the upcoming movie. And I'm a huge fan of Bruce Lee, of course. Uh, make sure you check out my. Um, Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee Memorial Tour. That's my most popular videos with almost 2.5 million views. All right. By the way, is my video is the most widely watched in the world. So here is Bruce Lee number two. Full contact. Could that be Chuck Norris? Here's number three. Actually, I bought kind of doubles of these because uh, I have another set going. All right. Malibu Comics. I'm pretty sure they might be defunct too. And I've seen a couple of these uh, tie-ins, you know, um, crossovers of Image, Top Cow, and Marvel. So this is Ballistic and Wolverine, Devil's Ring. And here's Deathblow and Wolverine. Pretty nice art too right there. Richard Bennett. He has a unique style going on. Kind of like an anime thing, detailed anime art. I like that. So here's issue number one, accompanying issue number two. So last time when I was in the store, I was lucky enough to find Marvel Boy number one. I heard um, he is in the New Warrior, so it could go up higher in value because based on he's part of the New Warriors. So that's number two. You don't see these too often, guys. So here's number two and here's number five. I'm not sure if it's a limited series, but I don't know who this character is. And that doesn't look like Marvel Boy, but... He has some weird uh, gauntlet weapon right there. White Tiger. I was hoping, looking for number one because number one is the first appearance of White Tiger. But this is issue number two. Good enough. I love that art. Kind of like a painted on art. Um, that's a signature. Is it Brion's? I thought it was like Salvador or something. And like I mentioned, I collect I'm collecting um, horror comics and also video game based comics. So we have Fright Night right here. Another retro thing. Anything retro is hot right now. So we have Fright Night number 17. I used to have number one, but I sold it. And here's a very... Speaking of 90s, look at this. One of these gimmicks is being bagged with uh, giveaways in there. It's, look at this beautiful, uh, kind of like a hologram it's card. See, this could be the next hot thing, guys. Since... You know, cards are already hard to come by, or already hitting the top value. Maybe the next big hot thing is to have it comic book with the card in there. And I heard X Force uh, with the Deadpool card is selling like crazy, like $20 or more. So maybe this might be the next hot thing. So that's Green Hornet. By the way, if you don't know, Green Hornet is played by Bruce Lee, too. So here's another horror comic Pinhead number three, Clive Barker. 
And I'm also collecting music and sports related comics too. So here's one with KISS. What's this 4K Legends Never Die KISS Comics Group? Alright, beautiful cover right there. Rock and Roll Comics featuring uh, Aerosmith. First time seeing this one. So that's issue number 11 from Revolutionary Comics. Here is V. Victory. That's one of those, uh, is it late 80s sci-fi TV series? Ah, look at this one, guys. God, Kong vs. Godzilla. So I've never seen this cover before, but this is Kong, King of Skull Island. Never heard of this company. So it makes it even extra rare, and it's number zero, too. Look at this. Comic Collectors Live. Official sponsor of the Kong, King of Skull Island miniseries. First time I've ever seen this. Pretty crazy, right? Here's first time seeing this one, Mars Attacks and Savage Dragon issue number one, teaming up. It kind of doesn't make sense because they're not from the same era, but whatever. Whatever floats your boat. So this is uh, Marvel, The Adventures of Snake Plague Skin. If you look carefully, does he look like Kurt Russell? Yes, this is um, Escape from New York, I believe. Wow. I heard Philadelphia is going to get his own... Um, the, their own TV show. So this is uh, the story is about the, this cop who goes back to his hometown to investigate the murder of his father in Philadelphia. So this is. I would be interested in watching the first episode to see how it is. All right, all right, we are warming up for some key issues. Right here, this is Curse of the Spawn. Any Spawn comic is hot right now. Look at this is issue number 22. Beautiful art, by the way. I don't know who that is. Is it Turner? It's not Michael Turner, though, but it's somebody Turner. So, this features the first appearance of uh, Hatchet, which is a zombie hell spawn right there. I own more than a few copies of this. How much studios issue number one? This is probably somewhat easy to find. Um, early 90s image. So as you can see, Jim Lee, Wish Potential, all of the popular artists. But this features the first uh, interior artwork by the famous Jeffrey Scott Campbell, one of my favorite artists, definitely top five. And also the first art by Brett Booth. Ah, this is the second printing of Guardians of Galaxy number 20 with a silver color the regular cover is this white so this one definitely makes it stand out and it's beautiful all right very nice right this first time ever seen this one unlimited access marvel dc i'm i'm surprised i was sitting in the box let me just give you a sneak peek see it's full gateway full cover 1997 i mean i've i've seen three and four but this is look at wonder woman's um talking to spider-man Wait, Speed of Parker really that short compared to Wonder Woman? Oh wait, I forgot Wonder Woman is tall, but Amazonia, right. The art isn't the greatest in here, but I bet you the story is a pretty good read. And I suggest you guys check out Read Comics Online. Um, you can read anything, and it's free too. Even though it has a lot of uh, spam and ads in there, just don't click on those. Look at this one, Wizard Mini Comic, Sensational Spider-Man. I love these Wizard giveaway ones. Exclusive supplement to Wizard number 52. First time seeing that too, so it's got to be rare. And this was inside, uh, guys. This is the uh, Marvel Masterpieces 1996, 95 edition. Look at this. So this is one of the uncut ones. I think there's a promo card. All of these are with free. It doesn't say Joe Jusco right there. Oh, make sure you haven't seen my video yet. I talk about all the comic cards I have. And here, let me show you. These are the 92 Marvel Masterpieces Joe Jusco CD. See his signature right there? This is the classic one right there, Hulk. Make sure you check out the video. I, ex I talk about it. Beautiful. Look how beautiful these are. Wow. Good luck finding unopened uh, packs or boxes. So hard to find. All right, and this is beautiful, beautiful right there. Look at this. Fright Night Comics right here. Oh, 
tops come. Ooh, this is a beautiful cover right here. Killers, number one, Bulletproof Comics and Games. This is the uh, John Boy variant edition. Very beautiful. John Boy might be one of my top 10 artists right now. And lastly, we have a big shout out to two ones again. Follow him on Instagram. He is the master of collectibles, comics, cards, uh, Pokemon cards, maybe even some Funko Pops figurines, whatever. He knows everything, man. Hit him up. He used to have a YouTube channel, but I think then he deleted it. Hope is he starts it uh, once again. All right. And lastly, he's the one that I saw found this. If it wasn't for him, I would have never picked this out. First appearance of Harry Potter. Wow. It's beautiful. Who would have thought from Cross Gen Comics, right? You know, pretty simple mistake. What's so special about this? Why, this features the first unofficial appearance of Harry Potter in a comic book. The other one being um, Love is Love, which is the official first appearance. All right, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoy this epic comic book haul. Once again, big shout out to two. As always, happy collecting and stay safe out there.